And this is the second part of our food exploration of Uruguay. And uh, I have so many images to show you. I hope you have something to snack on while you watch the video because I am sorry about small am sure. intestines. You're going to see them and you're going to learn that they are my favorite thing out of all of these that I'm going to show you. Ah, now you know something about me that is revolting, probably, until you try them. So let's see. If you go there, just in case you feel homesick, we have excellent carrot cake and brownies. That wouldn't be a problem. But you could also try a great walnut bread sandwich with bondiola, which is kind of a serrano ham, and arugula. Absolutely incredible. That is just to start with. This, we are just snacking here. And if you happen to be walking in a park or something, you may find vendors of fried bread and churros. And some of those churros may be filled with chocolate or vanilla cream. They are very delicious. They are nothing similar to Mexican churros. These are a type of churro on their own. Very delicious. La torta está repartida entre todas, ¿eh? Se quería matar y todavía como. Or you may find people cooking something like a paella out there in the streets, outside of a restaurant usually, of course, and some drinks that you can have. And then, of course, we have to start talking about the things I crave, like batata jam, which means it's, it's a jam made of sweet potatoes is tender, is sweet, not extremely sweet, super delicious, or many types of different breads that are always, always super fresh. That is rendered fat uh, that becomes very crispy and golden, and so it is incorporated in the dough. So it's almost like having a steak sandwich without the steak, but it tastes amazing. Or you can have a milanesa con ensalada rusa. It would be fried steak with Russian salad. The fried steak, we don't smother them with gravy on top. We like it crispy and we do sprinkle some lemon juice on top to improve the flavor. It gets really delicious. And Russian salad is a salad you can try today. Just dice potatoes, carrots, boil them until they are tender, mix them with some green peas and a little bit of mayo. Salt and you're good to go. Russian salad. I don't know why the name, but it is very traditional in my country and it's always delicious. And then, of course, we had a lot of different fish with different sauces and veggies, and we had a blast having different types of fish. At home, we would prepare puchero, which you can, you can replicate very easily. I strongly recommend it. Uh, just put in, water, in cold water in a big pan, just put your favorite cut of beef, like for example short ribs or whatever you want, and you, you can do it with chicken, with whatever you want, and just add veggies in there, corn, uh, cabbage, 
uh, what else, sweet potatoes, carrots, whatever veggies you like, just put them in there, boil everything together until everything is nice and tender. And then you just put them on a, on a platter for everyone to get the veggies or the, be the, the meat they like and you add a little bit of mustard if you want, a little bit of olive oil and salt on top of the veggies, and you have a super healthy food that smells amazing, and in the remaining water, you have an excellent quality broth. You just add some pasta or rice, or you just have it on a cold night from a cup, and that's it. You made a very easy uh, soup. It comes from a tradition of those little towns in Italy and Spain where all the neighbors would get together to cook this and everyone would bring something to put in the pan. So one person would bring a chicken, another person would br bring a piece of pork, uh, someone else would bring the veggies, and they all contributed something, but it ended up being a huge amount of ingredients, totally whimsical and absolutely delicious. And of course, you have to boil everything enough so the flavors come out. Super recommended, very easy to make. Then we have to go into desserts. And bizcochos is something we have a lot because we drink mate there. And mate is like a tea you have from a, a little a gourd that is dried and treated with a metal straw that has a little filter in the bottom. Cebando mate con amor. <laughs> Hay fuego en mi corazón. Mm. No me acordaba de esa canción. Mira cosas que escuchaba. De los 70, ¿no? Mm. Está rico ese mate. Mm. Porque tiene tevia debajo. Es un ah. mate amargo dulce. No. <risa> ¿No ves? No. <risa> Le pongo el yuyo abajo y queda dulce. Mm. Este... Y muy revolvido el mate ese, sí. ¿eh? buscando los lugares que estén más más meditan es de poco de poco de poco vuelo este tema <risa> perfecto así que tu mamá te dulce mate dulce que no es dulce no es tu amargo también pero so you put the hierba mate that is the name and, uh, and you can add whatever other things you like, like if you are into medicinal herbs, you can add some of those in the mate, and then you just pour water and you have that tea, which is the mate. So we usually have that, usually in the, in the afternoon at 5 p.m. or so, everybody is craving a little snack, so we sit for mate and bizcochos. That is a very traditional thing. And you can buy your mate from many different places. And nowadays they are becoming more and more colorful.
when it comes to grilling, we are going to talk about beef, mostly, or lamb, or pork, or chicken. And when we are talking about grilled meats, my favorite is short rib, beef short ribs, and chinchulines. And now you know chinchulin is the small intestine. Just remember, it's, it's another meat. It is cleaned. It is very tender. It is prepared um, with a lot of care so it gets crispy and golden. It is just delicious. And your beef, you always have some sort of chimichurri to go with. I promise, it's beef land. And this one number is ingrained in my memory. And I am going to share with you what I think is a sweet story about my family. Every month when my father was paid his salary, they would give him the money in an envelope. We are talking about many years ago when there was no uh, transfer, bank transfers and all those things. There was no internet, of course. So they would give you your money in an envelope. Coming back from work, he would stop at this particular big bakery, huge bakery that specializes in desserts and sandwiches. But my father would stop there every time and walk in and buy this one cake, which was my mother's favorite. And so he would go home and show up with the cake and his salary envelope, and he would give both of them to her. My mother, she was not a kind person. And my father was always the one trying to hold the family together. I admire him, and uh, he's, he's one of those very elevated spirits in my eye. But every time I go to this place, the 1480, of Rondo Street, I buy a small, a small one of these cakes because they, they make smaller ones. Um, just in his honor, he would take the time to buy that cake every month for my mother. That was a, a very nice guy. And they I, specialize in what we could call finger sandwiches because you can grab them with your fingers. It's very thin cut uh, white bread with whatever you want inside. I love the ones with capers or black olives or uh, anchovies or salmon. So I buy a lot of each of those flavors and more because you have corn, you have peas. Um, so yeah buying sandwiches there is one of the big pleasures of my life. But this time around, they surprised me again. They came up with the way of serving you a delicious espresso coffee in a chocolate-covered waffle in the shape of a small coffee cup. The chocolate melts with the hot coffee. I loved it. So 1480 keeps being one of my favorite numbers. And even McDonald's was super cute. It's funny because it was McDonald's, Starbucks, and this other local coffee shop. I promise I like the, the looks of this one. I think it is, they, they really tried hard to 
outshadow McDonald's and Starbucks. And I think they did it. And the Uruguay is the only country in the world that has, that makes these sandwich that has been voted the best sandwich ever. And I believe it, and maybe you are going to believe it too. This is a gigantic sandwich with uh, tomato and lettuce at the bottom. Of course, I mean, they, they put in there whatever you want or not. Then steak, and then ham and bacon and egg, and then pickles of all sorts, and olives and sauces. The pickles are part of the charm of this one sandwich, because we pickle cauliflowers, onions, carrots, uh, well, cucumbers, of course, and when we make mushrooms, uh, golden mushrooms, they are delicious. So we put all those pickles in that sandwich, and the whole thing goes crazy. So we had a lot of fun uh, eating these sandwiches. And then of course, you have to have fun. So you have to go with your friends to have a giant dessert ice cream. With Vamos a hacer una, una introducción eh, simbólica. No, simbólica, simbólica. Dale. Todas las cucharas. Ahí está también. With three spoons, and you try to wor work your way to eat the whole thing the, the cream, the almonds, the chocolate chips, the ice cream, the fruit salad in the bottom. So you try to eat the whole thing, and it's a lot of fun to share that with your friends. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Take care.